game. Hey guys and gals, welcome to the midnight showing of Pokemon Midnight Blue, starring me, Jessica Lindo. And you notice there is no webcam of me today, but because that'll be kind of distracting from what I'm going to show you. Today we're going to take a break from our story mode, where I play Midnight Blue and we go through late night adventures of Pokemon training. And winning badges and all, and catching more Pokemon and stuff like that. So today I'm going to teach you how to trade Pokemon with yourself using an emulator like I use. So let's get started. First, you need to go to the link in the description. There is a, a link to a website that will download a few items that you might you will need what you need here is these three things and these three things are going to help you with having more than one VBA open like I use Visual Boy Advanced um, you can have 1.7 or 1.8 I have 1.8 1.7 works perfect uh, I had a kink with 1.8 but I figured it out it's so good so let's first let's open it up now I'm going to open Leaf Green to clarify that I have already traded one Pokemon. Now for this you're going to need to have certain settings where you're going to use uh, two parts of the keyboard. Now on that link in the description there is a uh, easy button setting so you can tell the difference between uh, which panel and the other because you're going to have two uh, games open. And I am using controller and keyboard, so my first one is, has a controller. So yeah, open up the game. And I check my Pokemon, and there's a Bulbasaur. Now, what you need to do is make sure that you have an extra Pokemon to trade. Most likely on the one you're playing, ha have two of them to trade. So I traded a extra Rattata for this Bulbasaur. I named it Lightbulb. And the original trainer's name is Boobs. Isn't that interesting? Alright, so... That's what you do for that one. But, actually, what you really need to do is set up a game on a different version, like Fire Red. Which, I'm gonna... They say that you can trade from one version to the other, like uh, Fire Red to Fire Red, or Leaf Green to Leaf Green. But, I've had difficulties with that. I feel that it is better if you have one of them, and you only trade from the other one. You have leaf, if you have Leaf Green, only trade from Fire Red. If you have Fire Red, only trade from Leaf Green. So, what I need to do is delete the Fire Red save file that I used to get the Bulbasaur and then start a new one of Fire Red so that I can get Charmander. See, what you need to do is when you start off a new game, you can just rush right through it. It doesn't really matter what happens, as long as you have a name and a Pokemon. Two Pokemon, actually. Let's see. Hurry, hurry up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna rush through this. I'm gonna fast forward, and then we will continue afterwards.
Alright, so now that we have our two Pokemon, which will be the Charmander and Rattata, because you always have to have a minimum of two Pokemon when you trade, and we're going to trade the, the Charmander for another... Er, oops. His name is Fireball. My original trainer's name is Johnny. Okay, so then we go upstairs. You have to do this for both of them. And you gotta talk to this girl. Her name's Tila. She tells you about the wireless stuff. Which doesn't really matter. So after you've set this all up for yourself, and you have all the Pokemon you need to make the trade... No, go away. I don't care. Okay, then you go over here, prepare yourself, save the game right here. Okay, then the save file should pop up in your folder. Now the best idea is to have everything all in one folder for your Game Boy Advance stuff. Like, I have it all in one folder. Wait, where is my... Fire red save. There it is. Okay, so then what you want to do after that is you want to open up two of them at the same time. You know, make them smaller, I guess. They're going to get back bigger when you load the game, but it's fine. So for this one, I configure or er, two, which would be my controller. This one will be the keyboard which make sure that is right no it's not up down left right a b l r select start space oops that one should be f12 Oops. And then that one should be C. Okay. Now, that will be able to determine what, uh, which one I'm using by which keys I'm using. So, first on both, you have to make sure wireless adapter is checked and hit settings. Make sure you click the network one right here. Then go to server on one of them and hit start. And on the other, go make sure it's the same thing go to client and hit connect and it says one player connected wait for more no because you're only having the two players all players connected okay so hit okay on both and you load the games so for this one I will be loading oops leaf green or midnight blue see it gets bigger and then for this one I will be loading by red. Okay. Now to make sure no pausing. Okay. Now the easiest way. Why is this not working? Sometimes this happens where it doesn't uh, show up and you just gotta do it again. You just gotta load up the window again and you should be fine. Make sure you do your wireless settings. Start. Client connect. No. Okay. 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 Open.
Okay, so when this happens, all you have to do is close it out and and start that one first. It's basically what happens. It's weird, I know. Switch this to one, which should be configured already. Yes. There you go. And then we'll open up the other one. And then it should work perfectly this time. Make sure it's set to two. Should be configured. No, it's not for some reason. Okay. Okay. Okay, I finally figured out. It took me a few minutes to figure out what happens is if you if it still doesn't pop up even if you restart it and and, and switch windows, uh you can just go to import battery file and it'll pop, it'll come up. Okay. So, now we have red and blue here. And we're ready to trade. Oops. See, what you want to do is both talk at the same time. Which service you do you want to use? Trade Center? Save the game, yes. Okay. Okay, so, sorry, I, I totally had a bunch of technical difficulties and I had to skip through trying to figure this out over and over again, and I realized that I, my wireless things weren't connected. Make sure you keep those connected, so every time you retry, make sure that, uh, you connect them. Okay, so. Blue wants to trade with Johnny, except, yes. Okay. Sorry if it's a bit laggy, uh, my Game Boy Advance doesn't really work that too well with Camtasia, it seems like. Then you make them go into the little chairs so that we can trade. Okay. So since I want Johnny, I mean I want Fireball, I will trade this Rattata, and I will trade Charmander. Yes, and you're trading. It's happening. It's going to happen. Look at old school Game Boy Advance. It's gonna happen, oh my god. I remember the first time I did this, the very first time, I was freaking out how excited I was that I could trade and finally get it to work. Take good care. We'll fight you.
Okay. Now you'll go right back to the trading window if you want if you want to trade more Pokemon. Which in this case we do not. Cancel, yes. Cancel, yes. Okay, so then we want to leave. And terminate the link. And then you leave. Trading card will be overwritten. Hope to see you again. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do. So first, I would just save it. Now, if you don't, if you want to keep playing on your other file to get Pokemon that you need to trade to, for Evolve and any other things that you might want to trade that you can't get that are only on Fire Red or only on Leaf Green, then go ahead and keep playing those to get those Pokemon so you can trade. Otherwise, you can just delete the file, which I'll be doing that later eventually, but for now, I'm just going to uh, close it and delete it and then start over to get a certain Pokemon I want. So yes, I, tra I saved it on this one and now I can't check my Pokemon. We have a Squirtle, a Charmander, a Pidgey, and an, a Bulbasaur. Check the Pokedex. Says it's seen and known five Pokemon Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pidgey, and Rattata. Now, I obviously traded both my Rattatas, so I need to go catch a new one. But now, you see how to trade to get all three starters. So when we st go on, on to the next episode, we will have all three Pokemon, all three starters, and we will continue our adventure into midnight Pokemon training and battling and catching and getting badges. You know, the whole thing. So I will see you guys all in three days. And don't forget to check out Metroid tomorrow and, and Tomorrow night, you will see another episode of Silent Hill with Anthony. So, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.